Hey third graders, Mr. Bell here. All right, let's get started on our next project and that is Bubble Font 2021. All right, so you're gonna design your own font, your own style of lettering, your own typeface uh, by using the bubble style. And what you're gonna need is a sheet of paper, of course, a pencil, a black marker, and some warm colored crayons and some cool color crayons. All right, as you can see on here, the 2021 is all filled in with warm colors. You've got, uh, we've got red, scarlet, pink, yellow, dandelion, orange, um, red, orange, yellow, orange, uh, peach, or apricot. Okay, all those warm colors inside the letters, and in the background, we have blue, green, purple, green, blue, blue, violet, and I've repeated them over again. And when it comes to uh, designing the lines that go through your bubble lettering, uh, which helps divide it into these different spaces, these different shapes that you can color in, which makes the picture look a little more interesting. Um, there's different ways you can do that. Um, on this one, you can see I used a ruler. Um, if you don't have a ruler, you know, you can use a, a book and just use the edges of the book to draw, to make your line straight. And if you don't want your lines really straight, you know, you can freehand them too. You don't have to use a ruler or a book. You can just sort of draw your lines like this. Maybe you want them curvy. Maybe you want them straight. Maybe you want to put a zigzag line through it. There's lots of different ways that you can design your lines that go through your letters. <clears throat> so on this one, I'll show you why. Always spread your thumb and your fingers apart. Make sure they're not going over the edge because um, you want to hold down this part of the ruler and this part of the ruler simultaneously so it won't move and then draw your line. Because if you just hold it up here, when you draw your line, it can move when you're tracing. So you want to be careful about that. But on this one, I, I traced... I moved it over, held it down, traced both sides, moved it over again, traced on both sides, moved it over again, traced on both sides, moved it over again, traced, traced. Okay, so there's lots of ways I could have I could have just put my ruler like this and traced and made horizontal lines going all the way up. Or I could have just made vertical lines and traced, traced, traced. Or I could have done all of them diagonally. So there's lots of different ways you can do this. I'm going to do my next one very differently than this. But I am going to just put this to the side and show you how to get started on this project. All right. First thing you want to do, of course, is uh, make your regular lettering for 2021 and I like to start with the two in the middle first because if you if you start over here on the left you may end up finishing there and have all this extra weird space on the side and you want to you want to try to keep it as symmetrical as you can uh, space wise so I've got about an equal amount of space on the right and left and on the bottom and the top I have a little more on the bottom than the top but that's okay but the left and right is really what you're concerned with so I'm going to go ahead and sort of lightly sketch the zero and the two first. Then I'll add the two and the one afterwards. So I'm going to go ahead and the zero and the two. Then I'm going to come over here and draw the one. And then I'm going to come over here and make the two. So you want to try to keep them the same height. Well, if you have any letters that are too uh, tall or too short, um, then erase it and redraw it because you want to get this part correct first. Okay, so spend some time on these numbers so that they're approximately the same height and approximately the same width. That's how wide they are. Try to keep them about the same. All right, I think that looks 
pretty good. They're all about the same. Now I can turn them into bubble letters. And we've done this on other projects, so this shouldn't be new. Just pick a spot and start driving around the letter. Bubble letters are curvy. Don't forget on your zero to, to do the inside part. And notice uh, I put it into a part where the width of this letter is pretty close to the width of the two. So they're about the same amount of space in there. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just try to get them as similar as you can. And if there's any parts that you don't like, then redo them. Like I don't like this part here. It's getting a little skinny there. So I'm going to erase and make it a little thicker. All right, there we go. All right, that looks pretty good. Not the best I've ever done, but not the worst. So I'm going to go ahead and erase the the lines inside the letters. I don't need those anymore. If you want to leave them in there, you can leave them in there. But I would suggest that you erase them. It'll make the rest of your project a lot easier to do. Because you're going to be drawing a lot of lines inside and through these numbers. So you want to get rid <clears throat> of the line number inside. We did this with letters too on other projects. So there we go. All right. Now it's time to decide what kind of lines you want to put going through there. Remember on this one, I started with vertical and slowly but surely worked my way to diagonal and more so till it went down into the corner. That's one way. On this one, I'm just going to have lines going from all kinds of different directions. So I'm going to and you don't have to do both sides of the ruler. I'm going to have one going through this way. Notice I'm spreading my fingers with my thumb and holding both sides of the ruler down so the ruler won't move on me. There we go. I have one going through here. Now one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to have a line go through like this and just end in the middle of nowhere. It it, it has to go all the way to the other side. Otherwise, you won't have a space to color in here later. There we go. It goes all the way. You could, if you wanted to, go make a line that comes up and stops at another line. It doesn't go through the other side, but it is ending somewhere. So that's, uh, that's an option like this. I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to put a little dash there to remind me to stop at that part. If you put your pencil down, you can swivel your ruler around like this too. Now I have one that ends right here like this. Again, if you don't have a ruler, you can use the edge of a book. Let's see here. Just to demonstrate. There we go. So a book works just fine. You can also just freehand it if you feel like you can draw a straight line. <clears throat> and then take a look at it, see if there's any parts that look a little empty, like over here I'm gonna maybe I'll put a little little one up here. Okay. I like it. That looks good. I think I'm finished. And now I'm ready to trace with a black marker. So that's the next part. First thing I'm going to do is trace my numbers. 
Take your time. Try to stay on the line the best you can. Let's say you're tracing and you sort of mess up a little bit and don't stay on the line very well. Don't worry about that. Because you can always come in here after it's dry and just erase the pencil line there. No one will know the better. Oops, forgot the inside part. The one. Now I can start tracing the lines that are going through the numbers. Don't skip any. Make sure you trace all of them. So I'm going to go ahead and um, try to get all these black lines done. Okay. All the black lines are done. I could put my marker away. And I'm going to work on my letters. I'm sorry, my numbers first. So I'm going to use warm colors and start coloring different parts of the numbers, different warm colors. I've got yellow, I've got orange, and really pay attention and concentrate. Make sure that you don't color outside the numbers. Just stay in the little different shapes that are inside the numbers, okay? I'm going to go ahead and work on this some more. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is if you want to have any um, little dots or dashes or any kind of little design inside any parts of your numbers, make sure you do that before you start coloring because that is one thing I forgot. And I'm going to add some little dots in here and... Some little dots in there. I'm going to put some dots in each part of each number. You could do dashes, um, anything you want. It's really up to you. Stripes, uh, polka dots, anything like that is fine. If you want to add that, you can. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get some. I meant to do dots in this whole little part. Um, you can do little, it's preferable that you do this not on top of the crayon, that you do it before, but I didn't color that hard so it's able to go on there. I'm going to put some little dashes. So I'm going to go ahead and add some little detail like that. Okay, I put all my little patterns in there and I'm going to continue coloring the warm colors right on top of these little patterns. All right, so I'm all finished with the um, warm colors, and these might not look colored in, but that's actually peach colored in there. Now I'm ready to color the background, and there is where I will use the cold colors. So pick a spot and just start coloring. Be real careful around your numbers. You don't want to color on top of any of those. I'm going to go ahead and continue coloring cold colors in every one of these little shapes. Of course, you're going to repeat some colors over again, like I did here. Scarlet, scarlet, peach, 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 yellow, yellow, and dandelion, and red, and red, and all those. So same thing with the cold colors. You're going to repeat them over, over several times. All right, so here we go. I'm finished. Remember, warm color is in the numbers, cold color is in the background. That's how you create a contrast, and that'll make your, your numbers, your 2021, pop because it's the brighter colors. It's the warm colors. All right? All right, you have fun with this. Can't wait to see your stuff. Don't forget to send me a picture. All right, or upload the image to Google Classroom, or you can email it to me. See you later. Bye-bye.